Today I'm gonna cover why you should be filming vertical videos over music videos, and I'm gonna give you some tips for shooting vertical videos. Horizontal content is dead and vertical video is here. Hear me out, I know you're watching this horizontally right now, but recently I've been filming some reels for an artist, John Mack. I heard these hoes love me, how you know, word of mouth. And we had them go crazy viral on Instagram. I think overall we accumulated over 10 million views just on Instagram alone. And these reels really helped the song blow up and really promote him as an artist. It's really crazy to see the result of some content that I've made actually help an artist out. So why vertical video? Vertical video has just been taking off if you don't know, if you're not on Instagram or TikTok. It's all about vertical video and artists have actually been utilizing short form content to actually promote their music. So it would be anywhere from like a 10 to 30, 45 second clip, uh, just their song. It could be like a short music video style. It could be a cell phone clip, but those have just been really helping artists promote and grow as an artist to get those streams. There's one creator that comes to mind that pioneered this whole vertical video. Uh, artist movement and that's Dr. Clips. Definitely check him out on Instagram. He did a ton of viral clips that just really helped create this whole space and definitely influenced some of my style when I started out doing some of these clips. But seeing the success of those clips made me want to try it out. I reached out to my good friend, Combat's artist, John Mack, who had a song that was blowing up, but he had no content around it. So I reached out, we knocked out some content. So what I was thinking about doing, I was, I was going to duplicate these. And then I was gonna put like another one above it, like from a different take, and it's gonna like. And honestly, the first few pieces of content we dropped went crazy viral. One is at like 6 million views on Instagram Reels, which is pretty insane. This was really crazy to see, cause I had a hunch and I wanted to see if we created some content around it and had some unique creative ideas. Um, like we did some utilizing the POV effects. I like put a hole in the ground. We did some with like some clone effects. We tried a bunch of different clips and I think that paired with the song already blowing up just really, we just had the perfect formula for some viral clips. To be honest, it's been a little bit more fun than doing music videos for me because in music video, you have to commit to that whole three minute song. Whereas this is just a short 15, 30 second clip, quick and dirty that you can really get your creative expression out on and you can just knock it out. For upcoming artists, honestly, I think this is the way to go to knock out a bunch of clips and see which ones do well and then maybe do a music video eventually if those clips are doing well or if the song's streaming well. But I don't think going straight for a music video these days is the way to go for artists unless if you have a bunch of like homies who are gonna do it for free, but just for how quickly everything's going and short people's attention spans are, I think these reels and the vertical video content is kind of the way to go. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can film better vertical content for an artist and how you can utilize this and actually charge for this. So here's my tips. First tip I would say is work with the artists, go through their catalog, uh, depending on if they're dropping new songs, if they already have a song dropped, and try and find those snippets. The snippets can be anywhere from five to like 30 seconds. You can't even go the long route and do a full minute, but it seems like the 15 second, the shorter, the better. Um, it just really depends on the song. It could be the beginning of the song. It could be in a verse with a catchy lyric. It's nice to have those already exported so you don't have to scroll through the song and you could just play them, knock them out as quick as you can on location. Yeah, you want me to connect? Yeah. Okay. I did a shoot with I Am Sue recently and we did 15 different songs in just five hours. We filmed a couple reels for each of them and I had all of them pre-exported in a notes file on my phone. So I was able to just play it and we had them all pre-cut to the 15 to 30 second time marks that we wanted. Something that's catchy, maybe something people would wanna use on their own reels or TikToks. Uh, there's a whole science behind it, I feel like, and I feel like it's just a lot of trial and error and figuring out what works with that artist and what people would actually want to use and reuse that sound. Second tip is gonna be try and get creative, try some new techniques. I think this is a great time to experiment and try different things because the stakes are pretty low. You're just filming Instagram reels. Whereas if you're doing a music video and you try something new, uh, you're dedicating almost like a three minute song to it, right? Whereas this, 
you're just doing 10, 15, 20 second little reels. And it doesn't, it, it's not that it doesn't matter as much. It's just that you have lower stakes. It's, you can try something different. Like we tried some of these unique fish eyes and I actually learned a lot of cool techniques that I'm actually gonna break down in another video. And I was able to try different features on my camera, try out different equipment and just try different editing techniques. Try something new each time because it's a great way to learn and also knock out lots of content in the meantime. Another tip I would say is make sure to just plan it out. Pick some locations that you think will work cool and that kind of match the vibe of the song. If you have a budget, you could totally rent some locations off of Peer Space. Uh, with I Am Sue, we actually shot at our studio down in North Hollywood and we knocked all those out there. Uh, sometimes with John Mack, we just did whatever was near our house, um, out in public, and we just kind of planned those out. It's good to have somewhat of a plan. A lot of this can be spontaneous though, so you can just be on location and find some other little corner and be like, hey, let's knock this one out real quick. So there is like a spontaneous creativity to it, uh, kind of like run and gun style. But I think with a little bit of planning, if you have a very specific shot or idea in mind, it's good to plan that out, but also be ready to be spontaneous and mix things up. Cause I think that's part of it. And that can also help with the virality if you come up with something really creative in the moment. Another tip I'm gonna say is shoot vertical. You wanna use that full sensor. So you wanna have your camera mounted vertically. I mounted my camera vertically on my Ronin. Tons of ways to do this. Sometimes I would uh, throw the camera cage on my camera, throw it on the tripod, and I do like some AI type shots. Uh, you can mount it that way. And if you're lazy, for some shots, I put my quick release plate sideways on my camera and just tilted my tripod and that works as well. But shooting vertically is probably the most important thing because you wanna get that framing right. If you're cropping the sides, it's not really gonna work the best. The only time I shot horizontally is if I'm doing this clone effect. And I kind of came up with this idea for one of my shoots. Um, let me know what you think about this one. Uh, it actually did do some numbers on one of the clips I did for Mac. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this one and I feel like the it was fun just playing around with all the different clones. It was a lot of work in After Effects, but I think I like the I really like the way that one came out. Lastly, I would just get creative. If you see something online that you want to recreate, put your own spin on it, add another element to it. Um, I definitely saw some of Dr. Clip styles and I took my own spin on it. Definitely wanted to do some of those techniques he was implementing, but also put my own spin on it. I think this is a great way to grow with the artist and grow yourself as well because it's great promotion for yourself. I think this is a great thing you can start pitching artists. You can even do it while on set on a music video. Uh, you could pitch it to your artist, hey, for an extra thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, I can shoot you three different vertical pieces of content while we're on set. Something along those lines, it's as simple as that. And also you can really see results from it because whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts, uh, one of those is also is always going to be pushing artists. Uh, some days it's TikTok and there's crazy amount of growth on TikTok. Right now it seems to be Instagram. Everyone's growing a lot on Instagram from Reels. It's a great way to knock out some quick content, but you can really sharpen your skills and trying new things. I'm gonna drop a whole editing tutorial with some tips and tricks for editing vertical video. Um, I think I learned a couple of cool things. So if you guys want to see that comment down below, that video might already be out. I might drop it, um, pretty close to this. So it might be linked right here. I'm Tyler Cates with Cinepax. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.